Hey guys, it's Nightmare, and uh, I'm back to talk about something that I recently found. From the background, you guys can already tell it's about Pokemon Alpha, Sapphire, and Mega Ruby. I uh, just bought Alpha Sapphire. Whenever it, the day it came out, I went to go get it. I haven't played it very much, so I'm not too far into it, but I'm at the part where you're inside of uh, Mount Pyram Pyram Pyrier. Ugh, I, don't, I, don't, I can't say it. And inside of there, there is one female that particularly stuck out to me. And I've looked up on the computer, and I have not found very much about this. I've found two YouTubers that have done something about it, only talking about where she is. And I want to get off that, because I don't want to talk about where she is. I want to talk about why I think Nintendo keeps putting her in there. And what I think is going to happen with her. Like, they're either inside this game or another game, or if they're going to make an update where she's going to have something to play inside of this update, or... If she's just in there to troll us again, <laughs> just like she was inside of X and Y, which I was extremely fascinated by that along with the rest of the internet and not many people seem to have figured out about this yet. And so I thought I might as well be one of the lead people inside of uh, uncovering this. And I'm going to be figuring, I'm going to be searching around the entire Pokemon world now that I've found this just to find even more details about it because I'm so excited about this. Because this is just, it's a fantastic thing to look at and see and think about why Nintendo just puts these people in here. These interesting people. These interesting characters that really step away from the actual storyline to help keep an interest inside of the game. And it keeps more people looking and looking and trying to figure out something about this. And whenever they cross it over to different games, it kind of, it kind of puts that little cell... Uh, kind of installs that little idea inside your head that, you know, this stuff is going on inside all the Pokemon realms. Like, every single last region. So, whether it is solved inside of this region or inside of another region that they could be coming out with inside the future, it's a great idea to look at. And I, I'm going to be looking at ideas of this from X and Y and from Alpha Sapphire and maybe even from a little bit from the past if there is any implementation of her back then so without further ado let's uh let's jump into my footage um so i will be back okay guys so this is nightmare here and uh i understand the pokemon's been out for a while now but what i just found here was incredible um this has probably already been broadcasted and everything but this is my first time seeing it i haven't seen it anywhere else on youtube yet so uh sorry that if it sounds weird um Let's see if I can get any focus more. There we go. Anyway, so, if you all remember from Pokemon X and Y, there's a chick inside of it that whenever you walk into a specific area, a ghost girl walks up behind you, says you are not, you, says you are not the one, and leaves. She doesn't walk up, she floats, but I talk to this chick and this is what happens. What does it mean? I don't know, but I feel like this is something that I could really look into. Uh, <laughs> I'll hit you guys up with, uh, more updates and stuff, uh, next time I get anything else. This is inside of the, uh, Mount Pyro, Mount Pyro, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'll hit you guys up with more intel whenever I get it. Bye. Okay, so as you guys saw, the ghost girl, um, I don't know if you guys would technically call her that, but she seems to know something about it because she says these exact words, no, you are not the one. And whether she is laughing at the end or she's screaming, we don't really know. Because it's kind of hard to tell with Pokemon. I mean, you know, you don't hear them. It's just text. But she seems to know something if she has the same exact words as they do. And she's the same exact character figure in a way. So, really, in the end, there's a lot that they have in common. And I can see this being something really big. But why would Nintendo put it in? That, I really don't know. I think it's more just to cause speculation, just to try to make people more invested inside of their game at the moment. Like, if you play Pokemon the Death like I have, then it's not really very fun just to go throughout the entire game. And plus, it's Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby games that have already came out and just kind of had a revamp on their style, basically. And not to say that this game is not fun, because this game is incredibly fun. In fact, I love the game right now. I'm I'm playing it a lot, but uh, in the end, really, it's just that 
it does need something else to revamp it, kind of. And Nintendo did this for a earlier thing, and it caused a lot of speculation. It caused a lot of people to pick up their game again and continue playing. And a lot of people to be really excited for the new Pokemon. So I think it's more of a marketing kind of thing to see if people were really actually interested in buying the game and wanting to figure out more about this girl like <laughs> like I have. So, I mean, I'm one of those people that they kind of suckered into it, but I mean, I was going to buy it anyways. I love Pokemon. But it's more of a kind of marketing style thing that they just want to pull people in and attract them to their game because of these weird phenomena and stuff that they add. It's kind of like Rockstar, basically. If you've played any of the Grand Theft Auto, they add the Infinity... Hmm. Yeah, they add the Infinity Killer, they add the aliens, and the ghost people, and they add all that kind of stuff just to kind of pull people into their video game a little bit more than just what they normally have. And what they normally have is very good content, very good, but it's just something to pull people in, and that's what Nintendo's been doing with these recent Pokemon activities that they've been putting in. I mean, a lot of things could have went and got vamped up, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy that they decided to add this girl into there. And as I said, I'm going to be looking up more information, and I'm going to be trying to figure it out. Why was she added inside of X and Y? And different details about that is I still don't know why they would have added her inside of X and Y, because that game was fairly new. It was a new region. No one was used to it, so it was very fun to explore. No one was figuring it that this was going to happen, so I think it was just a way to revamp it and kind of add up layer of spice to the next games that they're going to be produ that they're going to be producing in the end all of this kind of comes to play and pulls people back in it just kind of it comes in in the area and pulls people back into their franchise and it tries to get people to play it again so they they thought this would be a very good idea and it was it's an extremely good idea, and I know that there's got to be more out there than just this one phrase of sentence that this girl says. There has to be something else inside of this world that it's just not making itself apparent to anyone yet. And I'm one of the first people to be actually talking about this, and this game has been out for probably about a month now, so I'm kind of surprised I'm one of the first people to figure it out. But, um, tell me what you guys think. What do you guys, why do you guys think that they added them in there, and... Why do you guys think that she's still continuing on today? And how other people, even if this isn't the ghost girl that says it, how do they know what she says? Has she visited them too and said that they were not the one? Tell me what you guys think. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, do everything like that. Uh, I will be uploading a little bit more on this fact. And I'm sorry that the video quality is not the best i held i was in a rush to get this down because i saw this and i was in a rush just to figure it all out so i forgot to hold the camera the right way but yeah tell me what you guys think and i'm really interested in hearing what you guys have to say about this and i'm hoping this is going to be one of my higher viewed videos because i'm really interested in what you guys think and anything you guys pull up about this as well so as for now this is all i've really got so uh this is nightmare and i'm i'm signing out See ya.